Hi. Hi. Hello, Nina. Merci. I'm Tatiana. Um, I was born in the 80s, so obviously I, I loved the Cardigans, Romeo and Juliet song. Uh, I'm sure lots of, peop of people here too. Um, a lot of parallel has made between the music industry and uh, the restaurant industry. I think uh, also because lots of us in the restaurant business feel like we're really putting ourselves out there and uh, saying a lot about what we think and what we feel. And so since you have so much in experience in that, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that and how, how, it, how that is for you. Yeah, well, obviously, especially as a musician, and especially if you're a singer, then you're also, you are also a person very much attached to your instrument and to your craft, more than maybe a, the guitar player of a band or like the, we always joke about the, the bass player, the, <laughs> the people who are the quiet ones. So you're, whether you want it or not, you're there to have something to put alongside with your music or your singing or whatever. You're sort of, you know, you have a tool or you have a pressure to be a, you know, have a, have a voice as well. Yes, have a voice, definitely. Um, as you know, having a voice is something that's quite new to the, to the restaurant business. Um, I think everyone is getting quite, starting to get used to it and, and maybe wondering a little, little bit about what we can do with that voice. And this is, has been a lot uh, about that here, um, what to do with our voice and what kind of message we want to diffuse. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about that and how you use your voice uh, as a platform to diffuse ideas and messages that are important to you and what those messages are. Yeah, I think that food and music and art are great. I always think of them as like Trojan, Trojan horses where you can you know, you're obviously doing something, you're cooking great food or you're making music for people to listen to or you make art. But you, there's also, there are also great vehicles for you to package messages you want to have come across or your personality, whatever you think is important and what you want to change or whatever. So it's good because you can do it also in a very tasteful thing. Because I've always, I've always been a very political person, for example, but I have very much struggled with how to ex express it in music because personally I didn't find a lot of music that I liked, that I thought talked about politics in an obvious way that I also thought was good art, sort of. So that was, it, it was, I've always sort of incorporated my viewpoints in my music, but very between the lines. So some people who, some people might notice it and some people who wanted to find it did find it. But I've also been talked about as somebody who's very apolitical, which is not true. I just didn't find the way to put it into my art, but I'm, but I think it's great. Then you do interviews, and and if you and it, but I, in the middle of that, I also think that it's you you do have a fantastic platform to do to change things and to say things in a way that is the kind of I mean we all do what we do because we're terrible at expressing ourselves in other ways. I always say that I I am not a politician because I I can't do it. I write my songs instead to to say what I. You know, yeah, I think that's obviously, obviously the language I know. But I think it's great. But when it comes to music, especially, and probably in in the food industry as well, right now there's something where it's, opinions are very much in the open. It's almost expected from you to say something. It's almost a, a trend right now, a fantastic trend, but it might pass. And I think that if you, you also, as an artist, you also have the right to remain silent, because I think it is... Because um, um, if you start talking about something just because it should be talked about, there will be no substance to it. I, I can see that happening too with artists who are suddenly, bah -bah, whatever, this uh, opinion back and forth, and then it's not really founded in something necessarily. But if you do have something, it's fantastic it um, to use it as a carrier. And do you feel like you have a responsibility as an artist? I'm, I think about that issue very much because I, now I, when I was younger, I saw it as a responsibility because I also found a certain amount of pressure in it. But now I see it as, a, as an opportunity and a right because I feel like I really, I'm so happy I have this um, platform and this, you know, this, uh, what do you call it, stafette pin. <laughs> you know, I have the microphone. I get to hold microphones. I get to talk. Um, so I think, again, that's... Um, I, I do not, in general, I think I mostly come to the conclusion that I don't think that you, it's your responsibility as an artist, but I think it's really, 
important to think about what you can use, whatever you do, uh, even if it's not something creative, I think it's a human responsibility to think about what you can do with what you do to make things better. Well, thank you. That's a good message. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. <laughs> sure. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.